She-Hulk season finale, a spectacular writing, fantastic plot, amazing conclusion for the best MCU show so far. Just astonishing how they created so much buildup just for nothing to fucking happen. Incredible. 10 out of 10. Couldn't have possibly done it better myself. That's that, that's that shit. That's shit. That's shit right there. That's fucking shit. Before the show came out, I've been waiting for quite some time to see the She-Hulk in live action. And I'm talking like during the pre-MCU days of Marvel movies. Like not necessarily, you know, have her get her own movie, but you know, to see her cameo or co-star in another superhero's movie. When the trailers for the She-Hulk came out, you know, I was waiting to see how she was gonna look. And I was low key worried that they was gonna use her more, uh, you know, recent appearance in the comic books where she was literally just a girl version of the Hulk. And I mean like she both looked and behaved exactly like the original Hulk did, but a girl. You know, like big ass muscles, big ass shoulders, big ass chin. Literally just Bruce Banner's Hulk in a wig. But thankfully they didn't go in that direction and instead went with her more original appearance. That being a more feminine, muscular build. You know, like she always had muscles, but it never made her look like a dude, you know what I mean? But then the final trailer came out and we finally got a face reveal. Now, like a lot of people, I was kind of excited, but I was pretty disappointed at the same time because my first thought was, why is it in 2022 does a Marvel movie or a Marvel show have PlayStation 2 cutscene graphics? Like, bro, you a multi-billion dollar franchise and your graphics is hella two decades ago. All I'm saying is you got stuff like Avatar that came out way before that and they even go back further, Dead Man's Chest that came out back in like 2006 and that's just 16 years ago before right now. I mean even till this day Davy Jones still looks amazing like you can physically touch this motherfucker. Not to mention the fact that they actually had a woman on the production set who was actually about 6 foot 7 which is the She-Hulk's canonical height and they had her as a model. They could have literally saved so much bread by just coloring her skin green and maybe using some camera tricks here and there, maybe some CGI. They could have just had Tatiana Maslany dub over the woman talking like how they did with, you know, Darth Vader and the other characters who were, you know, seven feet tall. But that person inside the costume isn't the same person who's doing the voice. Even in the WNBA, but the WNBA is not exactly short on tall ass women either. Plenty of them are even taller than She-Hulk. Now, of course, there were people who ran to Marvel's defense and was like bro like you guys are judging the show before it even comes out like by the time the show comes out they're gonna fix the cgi which is a plausible argument but then the show came out and lo and behold everything that we saw in the trailer is exactly what we see in the show i heard that same wait till it comes out they're gonna fix the cgi shit back when the trailers for doctor strange 2 came out nigga that third eye looked like doo, doo it looked like the shit was clearly photoshopped or a snapchat filter i mean the shit was on the same level as like a youtube indie short film but the thing is Indie films on YouTube can get away with that shit because they're on a much smaller budget than a multi-million dollar budget Marvel movie. Shit, like, I've seen better special effects on some of them indie films too. Then it came to my attention that the reason why special effects were so shoddy and shitty was because of the fact that the VFX team had way too much on their plate. Too many projects for them to work on. Either they were doing one project after another back to back with little to no breathing room, or they were working on various projects at the same time at the same time. The effect scene was simply too small to match and take on such a big ass workload. Plus the fact that they're being underpaid is also a contributing factor, but I'm gonna get back to that point later. Now, when the show first debuted, I honestly wasn't all the way shocked that they were gonna quote unquote modernize She-Hulk's origin story. And by modernize, I mean make it stupid. Instead of her being shot down by the mob, her and Bruce Banner get into a car crash cause an alien spaceship flew down right in front of them while she was driving and babbling about whether or not Captain America was a virgin. They get into this car crash after falling off the side of a fucking hill basically. She gets out of the car crash, barely injured, just a few cuts and bruises. She gets out of the car, pulls off a door, a, a fucking dented up car door with her normal ass human strength to drag out Bruce Banner. On the way out the car, she cuts herself on a piece of jagged metal. Bruce is also bleeding, so some of his blood, the blood from his forehead, pours into the open cut that she got, like right on that shit. And then because Bruce has gamma radiated blood, his blood infuses with her blood and it gives her Hulk power. So she panics, she rampages, ends up at a bar after she passes out. Some random ass bro show up out of nowhere talking about pronouns and shit while putting makeup on her cuts. I'm no, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that putting makeup onto an open cut is a pretty stupid ass idea. Like, and then afterwards they give her a mink coat and some high heels and then leave her ass outside alone while she waits for Bruce to come pick up. And I'm just thinking, what kind of shit 
is that? Because a group of women who just saw another woman who looks like she just got out of a literal car crash would definitely just leave her by herself outside of a bar at night. Especially after they just assumed that the reason she looks like that was because she was in an abusive relationship. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, I don't even go to clubs, but from what I've heard from various other women, if they're all going out with each other and they're all hanging out at the club, women never let each other go to the bathroom by themselves. Even if they don't have to use it, they still go with her in at least groups of two or three. And that's for various reasons, mainly uh, security reasons. So the fact that Jen was left to her own devices at, like right after that shit was simply retarded. So, you know, she transforms, almost kills some guys at the bar that was hitting on her. The Hulk shows up and tackles her and stops her from killing him. The next day she wakes up at the Hulk's lab and the Hulk is trying to explain to her that she's now a Hulk and she needs to do some training so that she can get better control of her, you know, her body and her powers and she doesn't end up breaking everything that she touches. But, you know, Jen is just too much of a childish bitch and feels like she's just too good for training then of course there's that goofy ass rant about her talking about i'm better at controlling my anger than you are bruce because my problems have a bigger dick than your problem it's like they were trying to make her come off as this tragic or at least more sympathetic character but it fails and the reason why is because really she just ends up coming across as a character who like a lot of people on twitter acts as if suffering is some kind of competition or pissing contest especially between men and women right as opposed to it being an unfortunate thing that people go through but then then she gets even extra hard-headed and starts this stupid ass fight which honestly i don't understand how the hell a jeep was able to knock the hulk off his feet when he could have easily just placed his hand on the front of the jeep and stopped it from moving at all i mean shit if jessica jones can hold a car in place with just one hand you mean to tell me that the hulk can't stop a fucking jeep Especially after in the Avengers, he punches a big ass Leviathan that's like the size of a skyscraper and stop that shit in place. They just did it for comedic effect. But it's like the shit wasn't even funny. It was just stupid. Then for the rest of the show, it's just filler. This entire nine episode show just felt like a big ass slice of filler. I'd rather sit through every filler arc of Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece than to watch this shit again, bro. And they say it's a lawyer show, but there's barely any lawyer shit going on either. At least any proper lawyer shit. You know, it's like... You got shows like Law and Order, Boston Legal, and Ally McBeal, and Legally Blonde, and, and other various kinds of shows that deal with lawyer stuff, but the people that write these shows actually know how to write courtroom drama. Even if they want to put a comedic spin on it, it's like with music, or with art, or literally anything else. You have to know the rules before you can break them. And the writers have clearly pointed out in various articles, and as various other people have pointed out, they said themselves they don't know how to write lawyer stories. The only things that occur are these subpar fights scenes and she hulk just sleeping with every guy that pays her a compliment and also she hulk refusing to take accountability for her actions and the show just bitching on and on and on damn near every other episode about how fucking terrible every man in the world is but then we get this goofy ass version of the wrecking crew and they don't even put up a fight against the she hulk because they don't have powers or they're just they're just these regular ass dudes who rob some as guardian construction workers i'm not even making that shit up they, they actually said they got those weapons because they robbed some as guardian construction workers and then we get Get to the intelligentsia part of the show and of course they dumb that down as well see this is exactly why i hate this whole deconstruction of established characters or quote-unquote modern take on shit because all they do is take a good concept and then they shit all over it and act as if they did something new and innovative that improves it and then they hit you with the deconstruction trope as if it's going to be this deep dive into the minds of the characters and show them from a different angle than what you normally see them from but no what they'll do is take a character who has actual depth and then dumb them down to something that's just ridiculous, cartoonish, and too much of a self-parody of itself to be taken seriously in any capacity. They'll do some shit like they'll take a dope ass villain like Dr. Doom and be like, nah, he's not some highly intelligent, ruthless, cunning badass at all. He's really just an insecure man child who's insecure about his masculinity and probably insecure about his sexuality. And he's an incel with mommy issues and all that dumb shit. I mean, they took the intelligentsia from being a group with actual competent villains and instead just turned them into a bunch of internet trolls and misogynistic incels who hate women and most of all She Hulk because she had the audacity to be a woman with Hulk powers.
Like, like She-Hulk finally gets brought into the realm of live action and this is the big bad villain that you stick with. I swear, it's like this whole subversion of expectation shit has been irritating the shit out of me since about 2019. Like, yeah, I'm talking to you season eight. It's like, they do some extra unnecessary contrarian thing just for the sake of being like, yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? It's not even creative. It's not interesting. It's not innovative or remotely clever. Another thing that was stupid about this whole show is how they tried to poke fun at people who criticize race and gender swap characters by having people who are actually in the show say things that they realistically have no good reason to ever say in the first place. They took the Hulk's masculinity and gave it to a woman? I'm fine with female superheroes. I'm just saying, make your own. Like, why is there a female Hulk? No one asked for this. You, It makes absolutely zero sense when you actually bother to think about it instead of just turning your brain off. It's stupid as hell to have characters who are inside the Marvel Universe to ask questions and make comments that can only logically be made by people who exist beyond the fourth wall. In other words, the audience. Like what reason would someone who's in the Marvel Universe have to say, I'm fine with female superheroes, just make your own? Literally none. Th there is no good reason because it's just a weak ass attempt to try to throw shade on people who dare to criticize literally anything instead of just blindly praising everything and sucking the piss out of Disney's bladder. Unless you're trying to say that civilians in the MCU think superheroes are manufactured out of a factory on some kind of assembly line or something, which they're not. I mean, superheroes literally just appear one day and that's it. So I highly doubt a bunch of people inside the MCU would just get pissed off that female superheroes would show up eventually. Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, and a few others have been around for a hot minute and people knew who they were. They knew what they looked like. They knew that they were women. So female superheroes wouldn't be a foreign concept to these people. The writers tried so hard to come off as clever only to end up sounding stupid with all these immersion breaking civilian rants. And here I thought the Matrix Revolutions was trying too fucking hard to be meta. Then we get to the damn season finale and it's like bro if anticlimactic was a show like episode 8 hits you with this okay cliffhanger making you think that shit is about to hit the fan in the season finale then episode 9 hits and then you find yourself just sitting through nothing but more and more boring and ridiculously cartoonish dialogue from the evil male characters more fourth wall breaking more attempts at humor more plot twists that everyone saw coming they reveal a plot twist that was blatantly obvious, bro. Ain't shit twisted about this plot. It's straight lined in a the motherfucker. Then an almost fight scene breaks out and the She-Hulk breaks the fourth wall yet again. She jumps into basically the real world, goes to Marvel Studios and tries and basically just retcons everything for the season finale. And she does it by speaking to the manager. By the manager, I mean Kevin Feige or Kevin Aige. A fucking robot that just manufactures everything in the MCU according to She-Hulk. So everything gets retconned. Quote unquote plot is quote unquote resolved. Literally nothing happens at all. She-Hulk just sues the quote unquote villain of the story. She then talks about people being held accountable for their actions, which is something she has never been subjected to herself. Well, only a little bit. But for the most part, she's been getting away with a lot of crazy shit that, that she did, bro. Then again, what kind of psycho holds a woman accountable for doing something wrong? This bro caused a shit ton of property damage at a parking lot and left a note saying, I'm sorry. Bitch, pay for it. Fuck you mean sorry. She destroyed a whole parking lot in some cars fighting Daredevil, bro. Daredevil of all... You throw... You, nigga, you destroyed a parking lot to fight a blind ninja that doesn't have super strength, bro. Like, she's punching a building in half, throwing cars at him and shit. And it's like, I swear, it's like, ever since the MCU became this multi-billion dollar franchise that it is now, they feel like they don't really need to try that hard anymore. I mean, just look at how most things in Phase 4 have been so far. I'm talking about both movies and shows. I mean, you could say Spider-Man Far From Home did well. Yeah, nigga, it's Spider-Man. Of course, that's going to do well. That's like being surprised a Batman movie does well. It's like... The, this show, She-Hulk, they just relied on cameos, easter eggs, and callbacks to earlier MCU material to hopefully keep the audience engaged. You know, Wong shows up in the show just to have Wong appear in the show. Daredevil shows up because they're giving him a new show, and it's in the works right now. Then a bunch of lesser known characters make appearances, I guess, as their, their introduction to the MCU. But it's like She-Hulk had no actual purpose for existing as a show. Like even if even if it wasn't meant to connect to anything else or build up to another show or movie, this still could have been a decent story for this character, bro. But there's no actual plot. The story doesn't build up to an actual climax. There's no 
there's no antagonist, no actual threat for the She-Hulk. And if there is a threat, it only lasts for about one or two episodes. It's a minor inconvenience, a bump in the road here and there. You know, she gets fired from a job because she saved a bunch of people from being killed by Titania, which is fucking dumb. Like, like how, how do you fire somebody for, for doing the right thing? She has no actual threat. It's not the abomination. It's not Titania. It's not that fake ass version of the Wrecking Crew. It's not that cheap ass knockoff wish brand version of the intelligentsia it's just a nonsensical mess of a show that goes nowhere yet acts like there's some kind of deeper meaning to be found in all of it you just hate women or maybe i just have a different opinion you fucking eunuch you know that's really your favorite deflection tactic for literally everything in an argument these days isn't it anytime someone says something that isn't in favor of, of brown nosing women for just existing is regarded as a woman hater it's especially annoying when those words come from a guy because it's like you're trying to you're trying to overcompensate or better yet trying hard as hell to convince every woman in the world that every other man is trash but you're that one guy that they can actually trust it's no coincidences that y'all be some of the most suspect motherfuckers in addition to the fact getting exposed for harassing women online and all kinds of other crazy shit but she hulk isn't even a superhero show listen bro she hulk is a marvel character marvel comics are about superheroes she hulk is a superhero so it's not unreasonable for people to expect heroic shit to happen in her show if you say that you're a rapper and you're here to spit some bars i expect you to spit some bars the fuck are you twerking for i mean shit the daredevil series was basically a crime drama thriller type joint but they didn't neglect the fact that daredevil is still a damn superhero i also like how selective some people are when it comes to caring whether or not something is actually accurate to the source material one minute they be like oh, who cares if it ain't the way it is in the comic books and then the next minute well uh uh that's actually how the costume look in the comic book so you know it's pretty accurate to the source material yeah and it looks stupid even then and, and just for the record those of us who actually do care about the source material actually do call out when something looks stupid in the comics like daredevil's first costume that shit was buns but i can understand why they had to use that suit instead of his original one because that one belongs to netflix and then you you know some people will be like well deadpool is a goofy character and he breaks the fourth wall a lot i don't hear you complaining about him though just admit that you hate women and go and i'm like first of all deadpool still has a plot despite the fact that he breaks the fourth wall and jokes a lot there's still a story to be told and there's actually something happening that will engage the audience. The fact that all these different elements blend together properly is the reason why so many people like the first and the second movie and they're looking forward to the third movie. Second of all, I don't hate women, just you. Plus there's the people who say shit like, It's supposed to be terrible, that's the entire point. Shut your stupid Saying something is supposed to suck is not a good argument point. You're just admitting that's fucking shit. It's like, not to mention, why the hell would you use tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars to make a doodle butter ass show on purpose? Like that, that's not an accomplishment, bro. Like literally anybody can piss away millions of dollars on a whim. There's nothing profound or deep about bad writing. And you know, real quick to go back to that rant. Well, I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. Yo, this bitch tore down, she must have caused at least $100,000 worth of damage, if not more, when she was uh, being given her award for being the female lawyer of the year, even though she barely did a good job at her fucking job. And, and it's like, the reason why is because the intelligentsia, nah, peep this shit, bro. Now, if you've had a splinter before, you notice that even if it's a tiny ass little piece of wood, you can still feel that shit poking to your skin. They had this big fat ass needle bro and he stuck it into the she-hulk while she was what she he stuck it into jen's arm while she was asleep you mean to tell me this bitch didn't feel a big ass needle into her fucking arm that was drawing her blood out get the fuck out of here the the agent sleeps with her he takes some of her blood and gives it back to the intelligentsia the intelligentsia was secretly recording videos of the she-hulk getting laid basically basically they just leaked her sex tape and because of this shit, she gets pissed off and destroys a bunch of TVs and then busts through a wall. And then ends up getting imprisoned on the raft. Her defense is, well, I was angry. And then the other lawyer chick says, well, it's understandable why you got pissed off, but you're a Hulk. You could have literally just killed everybody there if you completely lost your shit. I couldn't be Bruce Banner, bro. Because if I had heard about this shit and then she tried to rant to me about how better she is at control her anger, I would have been like, bitch, the reason I fucked up half of Harlem was because I was fighting the abomination. That nigga was trying to kill me and other people. Either that or because the government was literally hunting for me. Like everywhere I went, even when I was trying to lay low and not bother people, bro. Yo ass literally almost tore down a building because some fucking incels leaked your sex tape. 
Bitch, don't you ever compare yourself to me again. And don't even get me started on that old weak ass scar Easter egg at the end either. Cause that shit was just so bland. Don't show up with half a haircut and shit. Over here looking like a fake ass Goro. This motherfucker looked like a Shokan just skeeted on some grass. And nine months later he came out. Going back to the point about the whole CGI looking all janky. Maybe if Marvel would stop doing so much, the crew that's working on these projects could be more efficient. But they just care about quantity over quality consistently just pumping out content as if they're afraid that the world's gonna forget about the mcu if they slowed it down just a little bit but they keep putting out way too many movies in the same year like bro back in the day you only got like about maybe one or two marvel movies a year maybe three not to mention they're giving pretty much everybody and their mother a damn spin-off series or movie when the truth is not everyone needs a fucking solo movie or a spin-off series bro like, we got a Groot spinoff series, Hawkeye series, got a Moon Knight series, Ironheart's getting a series, Agatha Harkness is getting a series, Echo. Who the fuck asked for a show from Agatha Harkness, bro? I mean, I liked her in WandaVision, but I don't care about the character that much. Y'all motherfuckers are already giving Daredevil an 18-episode series, the longest out of all of these different shows. Y'all could've easily just gave Echo maybe about eight or nine episodes out of those 18 to build her character alongside Daredevil. Point is, Marvel needs to slow it down, as well as cut a lot of this shit off the roster because it's just unnecessary fluff it's no wonder they talking about feeling spread thin because it's too much too soon and that's gonna lead to sloppy results because the people behind the scenes who have to put this shit together aren't really able to catch their breath they're already sitting on billions bro you can afford to sit back and chill the hell out for a minute that's just my two cents let me know what y'all think and we'll chop that shit up in the comment section peace